Here's a preview of what we have to come. Hope you enjoy. Had an incident happen in um, middle school where a teacher like all the time when we would do like heads down, seven up. And so when I finally went to the principal about it, he told the principal, well, she's been wearing water bras. So she like, she's been asking for it. Like it's been teasing me. And the principal's like, have you been wearing water bras? I'm like, yeah. Say what? <laughs> And, and the principal was like receptive to that yeah, argument. Yeah, he's like, "Have you been wearing water bras?" I'm like, "Yeah." He goes, "Okay, well, let's not wear water bras to school." And like, that was my fault because I wore water bra. I mean, there's like more like that. Dude, this <laughs> world is so fucking crazy. Like, what is a water bra? A water bra was it was my mom's. It was a bra that it was like water. You fill filled. it with water? No, it, it already had the water in the bra. It was very heavy. Oh, and you were wearing those at what age? Like twelve, because I had uneven. So I was trying to even my out for real and, and, and he, would, he and he said he would come the, feel it all the time when we because we play that game like heads down seven up whatever and you have to like put your head down or when you were done with the test but whatever and so he'd come around and, like always like, whatever and so i finally he did get arrested this guy actually did get arrested but um later on but me they were like well she wears a water bra i was like forcing himself on me and stuff and i was just like the hell does no one believe me the principal like nobody it was like mm. really weird and so i think from that like did that guy eventually like, get a did anyone eventually so, believe you not story? funny but like my sixth grade teacher yeah i, I talked about it on tiktok the one that used to me would play like heads down and he'd come around and like grab my, oh my like, put his hands on me. he he did get arrested at his name was mr because Ryan. of you or because of other incidents so someone else came forward i never oh, did gross but he had child his computer I book on social media because i was silenced <laughs> not to get silly reference in this but i was silenced for so long um at my school growing up i had three different incidences with three different teachers in regards to s a r word and m word it happened in the school and one one principal didn't believe me. Two, I was too scared to speak up. And three, the teacher said I was like asking for it. So it was like looked over. The one that I was too scared to speak up on, someone else spoke up years later and he ended up getting arrested. But in Illinois, look it up. His name is Mr. Riney for looking up CP at, at school. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly what pops up when you search exactly what Trisha says. As you can see in this screenshot, I typed it exactly the way Trisha worded it. Byron, Illinois, Mr. Riney, and that was it. So the top results are a couple different things. This obituary is about the teacher that Trisha is talking about, and we will get to that in just a second. But do you see the article that is at the very top here? Look at the headline. Middle school teacher pleads guilty to CP charges. This is another reason I showed you guys all the clips. First, because Trisha specifically says in several of the clips that this was her middle school teacher and that it was in the sixth grade. This headline is about a middle school teacher that was arrested for the exact same thing Trisha claims. The only two things you guys really need to focus on in this article is the name of the teacher and the school. The name of the teacher is John Byron Schulich, which isn't Mr. Reitney, and the school is Bull run middle school and that middle school is located in Virginia. So I just find it funny that this is the top search that is behind a paywall so you can't really read what it says unless you pay for it and the headline of the article before you click on it is exactly what Trisha claims. Now that is just a pretty big coincidence to me. I want to take a minute to read what Ethan had to say about the Frenemies episode, the CP, the essay that had to do with the teacher and Trisha Paytas. It has come to my attention that Trisha, in episode 17 of Frenemies, called out a teacher by name and accused him of molesting her during school. She claimed this teacher was arrested and served time for possession of child pornography. She also claimed that someone else had come forward to say he molested them as well. Upon per further review, these claims seem to contradict available evidence because of the nature of the claims against this spe specific teacher and the stress it's causing to his family, I have decided to unlist the episode for now until Trisha can better illuminate the situation. I want to emphasize that I do not believe Trisha will lie about something like this, so I want to give her the opportunity to clarify, but in the meantime, because the teacher has passed on and cannot defend himself, I feel obligated to remove it for now. 